Hello, I'm Fred Janke, the Director of Rural and Regional Health from the Division of Community Engagement at the University of Alberta in Edmonton, Alberta. I thank you for joining me today. I'd like to tell you about an exciting new development in family medicine teaching at the University of Alberta. This is the development and implementation of a family medicine residency program in a remote uh, urban site, Fort McMurray. This was to foster relations between the university and the com community. Fort McMurray is a municipality in northeast Alberta with a population of 73,000 plus many more transient workers. It hosts a 107-bed hospital. There are a total of 25 family physicians and 40 general specialists. Of interest is that prior to 2012, the beginning of this program, there were only two family physicians and two ER physicians who were involved in teaching medical learners. We've been in discussions and negotiations about a residency program with medical leaders and community leaders since 2006. It's taken six years of building relationships and harboring goodwill to get this residency program underway. Here we can see that Fort McMurray is indeed in a remote area in the northeast corner of Alberta. So we started a residency program where there were previously no exposure to medical learners, or at least it was episodic. So what's happened since the program began in 2012 with two residents? The program is centered in family medicine, is integrated over 20 months with a 16-week rural placement. Two residents started the program, four residents were accepted the following year, and another four after that. Currently, there are 10 residents, with the first two about to graduate in October. What does an integrated or longitudinal program look like in Fort McMurray? Well, residents are centered in family medicine throughout the entire two years, but there are six-month blocks. These, these are in surgical experiences, maternal and child care experiences, and adult medicine, such as internal medicine, CCU, and the rural experiences. So what are the results? Well, the program has had an amazing impact on the medical community. There are now nine family physicians who act as primary preceptors, 30 hospital-based clinicians have become preceptors as well. The faculty participate enthusiastically not only in faculty development, but attending academic rounds because they see this as continuing their own professional development. There are weekly grand rounds for healthcare professionals presented by the residents, which are available by video conference for northern physicians across Alberta. Family physicians are thus more involved in the hospital by way of hospital uh, privileges, by way of being part of the hospitalist program. There's a new after-hours clinic which increases availability of urgent care for the community but also increases learning opportunities for the residents. Residents are involved with the primary care network which allows them to be involved in chronic disease management uh, at a team-based level. Most recently the residents have decided to host a uh, barbecue for the medical community there were 44 people in attendance. What are the results, the conclusions? Well, there are such positive changes, including pride in family medicine, including increases in primary care services, including an increase in the teaching physicians, and an increase in local continuing professional development. These are all exciting developments resulting in active medical education in the community. What do the residents say? Well, the residents talk about productive and wide-ranging clinical and non-clinical educational experiences. They talk about many opportunities and seizing those opportunities as adult and self-directed learners. Thank you.